share of heat. I yeah. wouldn't even say it was our fair share because 90 degree days weren't easy to come by here. We're actually a little below average on what we typically get throughout the year. So while much of the country has been dealing with a lot of heat, we've been lacking for this summer overall. Now, don't get me wrong. We had some hot stretches in there, but now we are back into a cooler flow and that's really what's been dominating our pattern here at home for much of the summer. So northwesterly flow back in control as the temperatures are cooling a little bit of fog out there this morning. Live Guardian radar, a little bit of rain out there too. We're talking mainly sprinkles and some drizzle. This is moisture that's wrapping around this area of low pressure that's off to the north and east. A cold front has passed on through and that is that weather pattern changer that we've had come on through. So northwesterly wind driving in a cooler, drier air mass. The temperature is at 67 degrees right now in Indy. We're still warm. I'm not saying we're cool or cold by any means, just not as warm as we've been the past couple of mornings where we mostly started off in the 70s. Even dew point temperatures have dropped as expected. We're still a little on the uncomfortable side above 60 degrees, but these have lowered by about five degrees from where we were this time yesterday morning, and we turn even less humid as we head into Friday, and it's going to feel great on into the weekend too. So planning out your day today. You're not going to get 80s in the forecast, certainly not going to get 90s. We're going to see temperatures only in the 70s today. By noon, lower 70s, and by the late afternoon, high temperatures in the mid 70s. So we'll be running below average and keep a below average temperature pattern as we head throughout the rest of this week into the weekend. Rain chances will be around today. They're going to be light, no storm chances for today. We're talking spotty to very widely scattered light rainfall sprinkles on into the afternoon. I think we get a little uptick into the late afternoon, and then we'll Try this out as we head into the evening hours. If you're heading out to the Indians, we only have a few home games left. They're home for the rest of this week, and we have another home stretch for this month. But time is running out. Get out and see them. 635 is that first pitch. Again, that chance for a few light showers in the area, not necessarily over Victory Field, but be prepared that there could be a little bit of rain that comes on through. I don't think it'll wash out the game. Temperatures start in the mid 70s by the end of that game lower 70s as you're heading on home tomorrow. Fantastic for your Friday. We will start off cooler upper 50s a little bit more clear as we head into the morning hours tomorrow and then we'll see a mix of sun and clouds as we head into the afternoon. High temperatures tomorrow in the mid 70s. Great for the high school football games Friday night where temperatures will be right around 70 at kickoff mid 60s at the end of the game and then let's get into the weekend more sunshine around. We'll see brighter skies for both Saturday and Sunday. The Indians games return or continue on as we head through the weekend as well. Great for Friday night fireworks tomorrow or Saturday. Then we'll see high temperatures at 77. We'll continue with those Indians games Saturday and Sunday. The Colts home game on Sunday is fantastic weather wise 79 for that high temperature. We'll keep below average temperatures on into next week.